So let's talk about installing outlets further. If you remember, our other lesson is installing an outlet, and it was a simple arrangement where we put hooks on the ends of the wires and we match those to our terminals. That was how we made the end connection for our outlet. That was an, uh, a simple installation. In real life, we're going to have a string of outlets. If you think about in your house, if you trip a breaker, there's always several outlets on any circuit. So that means that we're running them down a wall through a structure and the wires are gonna go from one box to the next to the next. There'll always be one at the end of the run, but there'll also be ones all the way down the circuit. So let's go over how you install the outlets that will be in the middle of the circuit. And if you notice, at the end, we've only got one wire coming out. Very simple. We know how to attach a single conductor to a single outlet terminal. Let me explain my mock-up here that's going to get us through this example. So I have my wall. This is my mock wall. I've got studs. I have holes drilled through. My cables are run into my junction boxes. I have the end of circuit box here that's going to contain my last outlet and then i have a wire running from that one into this box it's a 14-2 i also have a feed wire this one we're going to assume has electricity running into it so i'm feeding electricity into this box then we're feeding electricity into this box we're then going to have an outlet in each box if we were using this as just a simple junction box we could splice these two wires together and all of our other like wires together, it's going to serve to send our power to this junction box where we then have our end of the run receptacle. But what we want to do is to add another receptacle in this box. If you notice, we have two wires and we have only one terminal for each one on this outlet. So what we need to do is we need to get these two wires down to one wire that we can then make our hook on the end to then hook on our terminal. That means we have to connect. We're going to take a short piece, which we call our pigtail, connect it in line with our other two wires. That gives us one wire that we can then connect to our single terminal. On your screen, you see a schematic for a pigtail configuration for a receptacle. As you see, there are short wires for your ground, neutral, and hot. And they're going to tie in with the wires that come into the box and then go out of the box. Those are, wires are going to get twisted all together and spliced with a wire nut. You're then going to put a hook on the end and then hook it on that single terminal. This is a perfect solution for making a multi-wire connection to that single terminal. You never want more than one wire wrapped around that terminal. It's really good to learn your schematics. The more you look at it, the more it will make sense. And I'm going to leave this up while we're doing our wiring for this outlet so it will help reinforce all of this. We're always going to start in the process that we learned, first our ground, then our neutral, and then our black or our hot wire. So I have my short run here that I'm going to use for my pigtail for my ground, and I'm going to pull my two ground wires together. I've got all three together. Now I can twist them and I'm going to make a nice solid connection here. And let me mention, especially with our grounds, there's a lot of different ways we can connect and terminate our ground wires. But this, we're trying to keep everything uh, continuous and common so that you are working through the same way, everything. So we're going to use our simple standard wire knots on the ends. As you saw, I cleaned that one up. So now I have three wires connected with a wire nut and they all are running down to a single wire here. This is the wire that I'm going to connect to my terminal. So I can go ahead and make that connection. I'm going to bend a short hook on it on the end. And that one is going to connect to my ground terminal on my outlet. You want that nice and tight. Now we can move on to our neutral. 
I need a pigtail for my neutral wire now. I have a scrap of Romex. I cut this off the coil. You're going to go ahead and pull out your neutral wire. And I have in here also my hot, this will be my hot pigtail. So I'm going to go ahead and make this connection for my neutral. I'm going to pull all of these wires together nice and neatly with the ends. Twist them nice and tight. And then I'm going to clean up the ends and we'll put a wire nut on here. And this is going to be my second pigtail. This one will connect to my silver terminal. We need to strip this end and prepare it with a hook to go on the terminal. Not too much exposed. We're going to go ahead and tighten that up. So there I have my ground pigtail and I have my neutral pigtail. I have three wires coming in here and then only one going. I have one left to do. That's going to be my hot wire or my black wire. So I'm going to strip the end of that. Go ahead and bend the hook on it. And this guy, I'm a little out of sequence here, but as long as you get it done, this guy's going to connect to the other ones. So I'm pulling both of these hot wires together, all of them in line, and I can go ahead and twist those together. Clip the end clean, add a wire nut, and we're ready to connect this terminal. Make sure with all of your wire-to-wire -wire connections, you don't have any bare wire exposed outside of this wire nut. So we'll go ahead and make our final connection to our terminal. Here's a quick review of what we just did. I've got a wire coming in that's giving me one hot, one neutral, and one ground. I have a wire going out to the next outlet. That's the same uh, ground, neutral, and hot wire. Those are all getting connected to a short wire we're calling a pigtail. I've got a pigtail for my ground that's going to a ground terminal. I've got this short pigtail for my neutral going to the silver terminal, and I have a short pigtail for my hot going to my gold terminal. So you see here, we have three terminals that are connected to two other wires. And this allows us to continue through this circuit and isolate this outlet from all of those connections. I've got a lot of length of wire here. That's my preference. And when it comes time to pack these boxes up, you need to make sure you don't have so much wire that you've run out of room in the box for all of your connections, your conductors, and your device. I will have no problem packing this in, but this is a pretty generous, deep set box. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll show you how I'm gonna get these wires in. So I'll start with my ground. I like that to be in the very back. I'm gonna kind of fold it in. And I wanna make sure none of this bare copper wire is going to be touching any of my terminals. And we can make sure we get that all the way back there and don't stress out any of your connections that you've made to your terminals. Now we're gonna bend in these wires. I'm gonna kind of fold them in. I'm putting some, some folds in them and I'm gonna kind of push them back in there. Once we get all that pushed in the back, we can then start working our outlet into place. And I'm gonna line it up here with my holes. And once I get those screws in place, I can go ahead and tighten it up. So as you see there, that is a, an outlet in a series of outlets in a circuit that would be before the end run. 
Let's go ahead and put our last outlet in the circuit. If you remember, this is a review from a previous lesson. So this is very simple. I have three conductors. I'm going to do our, my typical sequence of going from my ground to my neutral to then my hot, which is bare to white to black. I'm going to match my, uh, my bare copper wire to my ground terminal. I'm going to add tension to it so it stays tight around that terminal while I'm twisting it on. I'm doing this with all of my conductors. You can do it with your hands. You can do it by pulling against the wire. My next, uh, my next conductor, which is the white one, is going on the silver terminal. I want to make sure that it gets turned the right direction, which is clockwise as we're looking at the terminal. Now when I tighten this terminal up, it's going to wind that conductor even tighter around it. I need to work the other side now, which is my gold terminal and my hot wire. So I'll get it turned the right direction, get it hooked on there. I'm putting tension on that wire to keep it tight around that screw. And now when I tighten it up, I'm looking for it to get tighter as I wind it and for a nice solid clamp from that screw. So there we have our end of run outlet. Now it's a simple process of folding these wires in and then getting that outlet attached to the screws.